time to demand that our objections be heard. Building this plant will endanger the safety and health of all residents near Cove Point. A flash fire of vapor cloud from one failed LNG tank would not be contained on Dominion property, as they have stated. It could extend 4,300 feet and encompass 360 houses. This data comes from a previous Maryland DNR report for Cove Point. This is not a tolerable risk. Common sense says that LNG facilities should be sited in remote areas, not residential ones. Accidents happened. Just last September, there was a fire at the brand new Blue Racer processing plant in West Virginia that is co-owned by Dominion. That gas explosion could be felt three miles away and burned for six hours. How can we possibly trust Dominion? I'm not a chemical engineer, but I'm smart enough to know that volatile organic compounds, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxides, and carbon monoxide, which will be produced by the power plant that liquefies the gas, are detrimental to the health of Cove Point residents. Dominion states that their emissions will be within state and federal guidelines. How is that possible? Because they're buying pollution credits elsewhere in order to exceed the limits and pollute more in Calvert County. The small town of Lesby can't take on a corporation as wealthy and powerful as Dominion, which is why I personally am so grateful to see people from all across the state standing with us today. Thank you. And now we're asking our top leaders, Senator Cardin, Senator Mikulski, Governor O'Malley, to stand with us too by demanding a full federal environmental impact statement. Only by hiding the truth can Dominion justify the severe risks it wants to bring to our serene community. Guess what? Two days ago, Dominion announced that they're bidding on offshore wind leases to develop turbines 10 to 30 miles off the coast of Ocean City. What a great concept! There are alternatives to the LNG product project that will produce more energy than LNG ever could. Why doesn't Dominion invest in turbines in Japan and India? That would be a supportable energy effort. So let's create jobs and tax revenue in ways that don't sacrifice human health, the environment, or our future. The Public Service Commission should serve the public and reject this permit. Senator Cardin and Mikulski, Governor O'Malley, we implore you, hear and protect your citizens. Demand that an EIS be completed before this project moves forward. Your voters are demanding it. Because we can't afford not to. Thank you.